ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm your host, Mr. Teacups, from original content in HD. And today, oh boy, Mr. Teacups is going to be spoiling you today. This is an OCHD first, so get ready for this. Get ready for this. What are you going to be doing? What are you going to be doing? Some unoriginal content. <gasps> Gasp! Shock and horror, I hear you say OCHD doing unoriginal content. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be talking about Seven Deadly Sins Origin. Uh, you've probably already heard of this. That's why this is incredibly unoriginal. There's already 14 billion videos of this game in there. I'm just going to play the trailer in the background because you, you don't want to just listen to me. But yeah, I found about uh, about this game yesterday. Somebody linked it in my stream. Um, it's been a thing. I, I think it got announced like January this year. It's getting released next year. If you look on YouTube, there is not a lot of information about this game uh and the <laughs> seven deadly sins youtubers are pleading it dry bro i watched about 10 videos for this game before i started this video and they're all exactly the same bro i thought i was unoriginal all they do is react to this trailer and i'm gonna pause this they react to this trailer and they just read this guy's tweets. There's this guy that runs this Seven Deadly Sins Origins account. And that's content, bro. There are people out there getting paid for YouTube for reading this man's content. <laughs> what a fucking time we live in, bro. Shit. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. And yeah, yeah, so I'm going to be talking about this game. But I'm not going to bring you anything new, anything special. I just want to kind of discuss it a little bit, you know, and give my esteemed professional opinion as the number one gacha game YouTuber out there. So we're going to play this in the background. And if you don't know about this game, if this is the first time you're hearing about Seven Deadly Sins Origins, I'm sorry for you, because <laughs> I'm introducing you to Seven Deadly Sins, one of the wackiest IOPs out there. <laughs> Yo, Ban, Meliodas, they're essentially Prince Andrew. <laughs> And I'm sorry, I rag on Seven Deadly Sins too much. And whenever I played Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, uh, not a lot of people liked my comments because uh, for some reason, some people really love this, love this show. I don't really know why. It's got too many undertones there. But anyway, yeah, from the background gameplay, it's all pre-rendered. It's all cinematic. The game's not going to end up looking like this, most likely. It's not. Mar it's net marble, so it might end up looking like this, which would be kind of crazy. But yeah. It's a Genshin Impact clone. There's nothing wrong with that. Every game is a clone of something nowadays. It's hard to get an original idea you know, in the gaming community. But um, yeah, this is the thing. Genshin Impact was a smash hit. So obviously a lot of companies are looking towards that and um, trying to copy that formula. And I like the formula. Like I like, I don't really like Genshin Impact that much for the actual story itself. It's bare boring. But I like that style of gameplay. And I would really love to see animes you know, in that style of gameplay, in that world exploration. It's just a shame. It's a shame they chose to do Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> you could have Naruto, bro. You could be traveling around all the different fucking vi Hidden Leaf villages or whatever. You could have One Piece traveling around the fucking Grand Line. I'm about to say the Grand Cross, bro. <laughs> but you get the picture. Seven Deadly Sins is such a limited franchise, bro. It's, they've already announced a character list. It's on that guy's Twitter that a lot of people are stealing content from. And there's like, I think, 12 characters for this game that have been announced for day one. And you know within about six months, there's going to be 17 different versions of Meliodas. So I just don't get how it's popular. But if it's making money, it's making money. But I'm also kind of shocked that they're going down this path because... Well, I'm actually not too shocked about them going down this path, to be fair. I've personally thought more gacha games were going to be copying um, Grand Cross style of gameplay. Like, I actually generally love Grand Cross's style of gameplay. It's one of my favorite gacha games out there. But I just don't like the IP behind it. That's why I don't really play it anymore. So it's really kind of curious. And there's an animation teaser of it. So yeah, that is literally all the information we have to go on. There's not That's not really gameplay. I don't want to watch this, bro. I don't want to watch the animation teaser. The one thing that really stood out to me with this game, though, is get ready for this. Get ready for this. It's on the blockchain. It's, it's a blockchain game. So with the state of cryptocurrency right now, that ain't looking too hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... Whew, don't, don't talk about the copy about cryptocurrency. <laughs> so yeah, this guy hasn't updated for ages, bro. Obviously, when this guy makes one tweet, if this guy put out like a four-word tweet, every single Grand Cross YouTuber is going to be doing a 15-minute video reciting what that tweet said. <laughs> but yeah, there's not a lot going on. I think they only recently announced the, um, the release date to be 2023. Most likely going to be towards the end of the year. Um... And that's kind of it at the moment. You know, like, if you played Genshin Impact, you've 
played Seven Deadly Sins Origin, like it's gonna be you know what you want. You're gonna be exploring the world. You're gonna be opening chests and crates and doing exploration, and that will be cool. But after about probably a week, you've already cleared out most of the content. I'm curious how this is going to turn out. I'm curious if this game does exceptionally well, if they're actually going to be trying to do any other anime franchises. And I would, as I said before, I would like to see some objectively better franchises get this video game. Uh, bro, why can't Netmarble pick up One Piece, bro? Why can't Netmarble pick up... Naruto. Naruto deserves a good game, right? Naruto deserves a good game, and I think Netmarble would do them justice. But yeah, like you could do like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That could even do one. The JoJo's Bizarre Adventure has also never had a good gacha game. Starlight Shooters as well, right? Diamond Records is complete and utter trash. But yeah, that is Seven Deadly Sins Origin. There's not a lot to go on. I'm not going to be lengthening this out for a 20 minute video. There's barely inf any information about this game. Your takeaway from this video is a Genshin Impact clone. <laughs> and also, it's Seven Deadly Sins. So, if you hate Genshin Impact and you hate Seven Deadly Sins, I don't think you're going to like this game. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this new style of content. Very unoriginal, very lazy, but also in HD. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.